Hey! Haha! <laughs> Welcome back to Dad Space! This is Dave. I'm your host. Thank you for taking time to be part of Dad Space. Today, I just want to talk a little bit about how we can kind of get out of our own way as dads and realize that, you know, there's there's people in our lives that matter and we need to create space for them. Something I'm working on right now as a dad, so that I share my thoughts with you today. Just you and me. Whether you're at the gym or in your car, walking down the street or whatever. This is Dad Space. Thanks for being here. Here we go. So I was in um I was in a clubhouse room recently. And uh, if you don't know what Clubhouse is, it's a social audio app. They have rooms, virtual rooms, a stage. There's a host, and uh, you can come up on stage and share about the topic of the room and share your insights, connect with others. It's really kind of cool. There's, It was really big during the pandemic and kind of some people faded away. You know, the, the tire kickers are gone and the true clubhouse uh, fans are there, which is great. So we get to meet a lot of great people. I was in a room just recently. And one of the things we do generally when we close the room off, it's like we go around the room and everybody gives their tip of the day or whatever for the topic. And then a shout out, you know, promote yourself and who you are, what you do, how people can connect. And it came to my turn in the, in the list of people on stage. And I looked down in the audience. So that's people listening. That's not people up on the stage actually actively speaking. They're just, they're just in the room listening to the conversation and, they might be busy doing something else and they're just listening in or they don't want to come up on stage, whatever. And I noticed one of the people that I really admire on Clubhouse was in the, in the audience. And when it came time for me to, to do my spiel, I, uh, I just kind of felt like at that moment in that space and with that conversation that this moment was not about me. And was more about the person that was in the audience that normally would be up on stage with us talking. And again, they could just be busy doing something else. But I felt really impressed, I guess you could say, to acknowledge them in the room and thank them publicly for how giving they are on the Clubhouse app and in life in general. They just, this person is just amazing completely amazing and uh, i'm really happy to be part of their community and and follow along on their journey and they just encourage everyone that comes into their room and into their onto their stage and whatever okay they're just that's the type of person they are and that moment when it was my turn to speak about me to plug my podcast or my um, you know, the fact that I can do editing for other podcasters or my websites and my six podcasts. It's a perfect opportunity. It was like a, a pitch right across the plate. A nice, easy hit for me where I can knock this out of the park and promote Dave, all things Dave. Woohoo! But looking down in the audience, I just, something told me, this is not about you right now. This is about this person. And so that's what I did. I just basically flipped the script on my time in the spotlight and focused it on somebody that means a lot to me. And to be honest, I didn't know why. I didn't know why that was important in that moment. I didn't know if it would have any impact at all. I, I really wasn't thinking of the impact. I just knew that this was something that needed to happen in that moment. So I, I spun it around and I'll, I'll put... A little clip of me on Clubhouse, you know, just uh, sharing. I won't get into too much of it because I've, again, I haven't asked permission of the person that I am featuring in my comments. Um, and uh, But I just wanted to share my side of it. And then after that, I'll share just a little bit of my thoughts about after that. And, you know, how we can, how we can get out of our own way as dads 
within our relationships at work with our kids. It's just something that I'm really thinking about and really spending a lot of time and effort focusing on right now as a dad. And I wanted to share it with you because you are part of the Dad Space community. Again, we have a, a group, a page on Facebook where you can join join us for a continued conversation with past guests and meet other dads. And uh, I'll put links to, links to that in the show notes so you have access to that. It's a private group. We keep it private so that we don't have uh, salespeople come in and try to wreck the group. Or It's a safe place for dads to talk to each other. The one thing we do allow is our past guests who have a book or a service. They've been vetted. They've been through the process. They've been on the podcast. Their episodes are here. You can listen to them. But they are allowed to sell and promote what they're doing. That's really okay. Uh, but otherwise, we don't have people who aren't part of the podcast or have never heard the podcast or have no idea what Dad Space is about or why we exist. Those people are in the in the group. So if you're listening to me right now, you're my voice. You've listened to the episodes. Thank you. You're invited to join us over on Facebook. It's free. It's private. And uh, you get to ask your questions and be a part of our community. So I'll put links to that in the show notes. But back to Clubhouse. So this is this is just a little clip of me in the room. It's it's a great way to share the reality of that moment with you. I wanted you to hear it. And again, if you're not on Clubhouse, take a look at it. It's a great way to meet with people. Find me there. I'd love to connect there as well. But uh, here's a little bit of that clip so you can hear hear the moment. And uh, I just felt that's the easiest way to share it with you. So here we go. Love it. I want to try. I want to try dropping in on the skateboard ramp. David, what do you got for us, man? David, I need you to message me your phone number too, because I, I feel like I need to call you more often. So message me your phone number. Okay, David, go. Oh, wow, I'm going to get calls from Dominic. Oh my gosh, I've now moved to another level. Ah, uh, dumb. Before I do my little spiel, I just want to. I just want to point out that producer Jemmy's in, in the audience there. She is my, my hero. I, I love listening to her content and following her journey. I, big props to producer Jemmy. I, I just, any room that she's in, I know I'm in the right spot. Hey so, David, let's, uh, let's, and I didn't want to embarrass her, but I feel the exact same way. Her, her, right? smi her smile, her, the laugh. her, the laugh. her her authentic authenticity, the genuineness that she really cares. Producer Jimmy, since David brought it up, when I don't see you around, I I miss you. I sincerely do. So, David, continue uh, gushing on Producer Jimmy, and then we'll, we'll go on. Go on. She is the Florida sweetheart. That's a, that's kind of what I'm going to call her. So, uh, anyways, uh, I really do. She's a. If anybody ever wants a great room to be in, and you want to hear somebody laugh. Um, and just bring joy in your life. I wasn't really kind of going down this path until I, I kind of looked down. And again, I see her name and I'm like, that's all I can think about. So the sweetheart from Florida. Thank you, uh, producer Jeremy. Um, for me, uh, the one thing that happened this week, Dom, and it's going to happen later today is my, my, my chat. I, one of my past guests reached out to me and said, Dave, with your six different podcasts and I'm over 280 episodes in less than a year. They're like, can you help me create a podcast? And I was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about that, but you know what? Um, I've never advertised and never promoted doing that, but um, I just have a heart for people to share their message. And so I'm going to be meeting with somebody. I'm in Canada, and I'm meeting with somebody in California later today, and uh, it's going to open up a new door maybe of helping more podcasters or new people get in the space. And I take that very, very seriously that I can help somebody um, to the point, again, bringing back producer Jemmy, that's her heart and passion. And she does an excellent job. And if I can do one ounce of what she does then and help somebody, I'm on the right path. Um, so, yeah, so my, my, my side business for all my podcast is called truemediasolutions.ca. Um, .ca is a Canadian website. And uh, I, yeah, I, I'm really excited about this possibility of, of helping somebody. And again, I'm going to follow in producer Jeremy's footsteps and let's see where this goes. Thanks, Tom. So that was my little clip from Clubhouse and producer Jemmy is an amazing person and 
she's in Florida. And again, she does so many things for so many people. And I just felt in that moment that that was my, my time to focus on her and get out of my own way and, and realize the importance of somebody else. So I'm not doing this to say, look how great Dave is. Look what he did. He did a good thing. I just want you to see in that moment, completely transparent, I had no thought on stage that that's how the conversation would go. But it was just really interesting to me, the results. Um, Producer Jemmy did join us on stage later. I'm not, again, I don't have permission from her to share her response. But in, I guess, waiting for her to pick up her, her kid at school, and she was in the line of cars to pick up her kids, and uh, kid, and she couldn't she couldn't speak at that moment. But the comments from the room and uh, my little spiel there really touched her, and it was the perfect timing. And again, I didn't know that at the time; I had no way of knowing that. But I just wanted to get out of my own way. So. For for dads, any dad, no matter who you are, where you're on on your dad journey. So often, career and life and providing and being everything to everyone, it really does weigh on you as a dad as you try to navigate life, as you're trying to learn how to be a good dad while being a good dad at the same time. It's it's a it's a really tricky game. And I don't know again where you're at on your journey of being a dad. But my hope and my desire for you is that you will just understand the importance of your role in your family and and how you can serve others. Because so often as we are in that mode of providing and giving and supporting, we put ourselves out there a lot. And we don't take time really to step back and see how can we elevate someone else. So think of this for your kids, for example. Your son, your daughter, they're learning something new and they're not doing that great at it. They can't sink the basketball the way you think they could. They can't run as fast as you think they should. Or that riding of that bike is not working out so well. Maybe just learning how to walk. Boy, they fall a lot. There's a lot of things that, as dads, we just want our kids to excel. We want them to do well. We want them to have the best. And we push, 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 push. Instead of enjoying the moment and the journey. And the one thing I've been really kind of toying with right now is something that I've been thinking about and I thought about this at work, actually. And this kind of quote came to me as I was working. I was thinking about contentment at the time. And again, I don't know if anybody else has ever said these words before in this way. I have no idea where this thought came from, but I did want to share with you. Basically, the thought is, if you can't find contentment, in your journey, it most certainly won't be there when you arrive at your destination. And thinking about that, we seem to be content or place our contentment at the, f at the result. So if I can make enough money to support my family, I'll be content. If I can get the car that I wanted, I'll be content. If I my kids can be successful in school, I will be content. If I can have a great relationship with my spouse and my partner, I will be content. But what about the journey of getting to the result? Cannot can we not like find some form of contentment in the journey? Does it always have to be the result that only brings contentment in our life? And in that, I think we step out of our own way and make room for others. And Again, going back to that room and where I could just promote myself, promote myself, promote myself. If I could step out of my own way for a second. If I could step out of my own way for a second and 
find contentment in that moment where I can say, listen, it's not about me. It's not about my kids. It's not about my spouse. It's not about how others live up to my expectations. But it's the fact that we're all in the process of learning and growing and doing better. And in that process, we grow. And in that process, we find contentment. And so that's kind of what I've been struggling and thinking about. I would love to hear your thoughts about how you can get out of your own way in life. How do you do it? What do you do? And in podcasting, we create these podcast episodes. We send them out into the world. We see listens. We can see some stats in the back end. But to hear back from the people that listen, to hear back from you, and to engage in a conversation fuels the content, fuels collaboration and thoughts and growth. The Facebook group I mentioned, if we can build a, a bridge of communication where it's not one-sided, I think that makes us better people. So to that end, on our website, dadspace.ca, there's actually a little microphone and you can click it and leave a voicemail and I can bring that voice into the podcast. I can hear your voice and your comments and your suggestions, your feedback, your responses to this episode or another one and uh, include you in the conversation. I would love to hear from you. I don't get a lot of responses to, at this point. And I know it takes a few times for people to hear this message before they're like, okay, all right, all right, I'll do it. So I'm asking again. Head over to dadspace.ca. There's a little microphone button. You can click it. If you don't like the recording, you can do it again. It's not like a one-shot deal. And if you make a mistake, uh, no, you can you can erase it and do it again. It's, it's easy. You can do it from your phone. You can do it from your computer, whatever. But I'd just love to hear your voice. Where are you listening from? Why is Dad Space helping you? How is it helping you? What is your advice for a dad? What's something we could talk about that could help you as a dad in your situation right now? I would love to hear your dad's story. So dadspace.ca is a website, real simple. And uh, we'll have more episodes coming out soon. So head over to the Facebook group. And you can find all the links through dadspace.ca. It's more, it's easier just to send you to one place. dadspace.ca. There's a link in the show notes. Click the link and it goes straight to the website. And all the great info is there. Thanks for being part of Dad Space. Talk again soon. Lots of great stuff coming up. And appreciate you being here with me. Let's get out of our own way and let's find some contentment in the journey. It starts right now. It starts with you. Let's get out of our own way and make room for others. And see what happens. Thanks for listening. Talk soon, okay? Thanks. Thanks for listening to Dad Space today. Go check us out on all of our social media, YouTube, all that great stuff. You can find us as Dad Space Podcast. Real simple. Dad Space Podcast, whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, even YouTube. Email us, dadspacepodcast at gmail.com. We're always looking for great guests to come on the podcast. If you have any feedback for us, let us know here at Dad Space. Looking forward to connecting with you on the next episode right here of Dad Space. Follow us on your podcast app for more. Cheers. To you, Dad. Thank you.